Good morning. How watchful are Christians called to be? Today we're at 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 6, 7, and 8. Therefore let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet, the hope of salvation. So Paul contrasts sleeping and drunkenness with uh, being awake and in the light. And remember that the focus of this a letter really is a lot about the second coming, being having the right viewpoints on the second coming and not being misled by people who are teaching the wrong stuff. Drunkenness and sleeping mark kind of a self-indulgent spirit, a, a lazy, like it says in Proverbs, dropping your hand in the bowl and you're too lazy to even put it back in your mouth. This kind of a not being prepared spirit. You know, a lot of people seem to think they're going to just coast into heaven in some kind of a self-driving car. But no, it's, it's a battle and a march. And then we see the, the uh, continuation here with the opposite of this. Let those of us who are of the day be sober. And then he gives us sort of this military picture. Put on the breastplate, the breastplate of, which was a protective, it was armor that would protect the, the chest area when you were fighting hand-to-hand -hand in battle with people with very sharp objects. What we have here is putting on the breastplate of faith and love and as a helmet, the hope of salvation. So we're looking to things beyond this life. This is represented as being very much like an armor and being awake and being girded for battle during the day. So that's the picture we have of Christians, very wakeful, very awake, and ready to do battle instead of just to uh, glide into some supposedly easy-going ending. The Bible, the book of Revelation, doesn't show us an easy going ending. Just doesn't. So so realize, friends, I mean, to experience in ourselves overcoming, this is not an easy thing. I mean, this is this is a real battle. This is a spiritual battle to, to move away from what we've done our whole lives up to a certain point. Self-indulge and, and just to serve ourselves, to shift from that to an unselfish uh, opposite, uh, total turnaround in terms of how we view ourselves in the world that we are in and who we're serving. That is, uh, that is a total shift of direction, and it's going to take the Holy Spirit to get us there. And while the power that creates these victories in our life is God's power, the will to choose it, the will, the choosing has to be our own. Remember, God has given us free will, and it is ours to exercise. I mean, He doesn't exercise it for us, so we can always choose to be on His side or in an opposite side. So we want to be right there in God's plan. We need to choose to be Christians. Do you remember the fellow back in the Gospels that his friends carried him to the house? It was so full of people. They actually went up on the roof. They tore the roof open and lowered him down into Jesus' presence through the roof. They had that much faith in Jesus, and he had that much faith in Jesus. Do you remember what happened, though? What happened when he was healed and Jesus forgave him and, and healed him was he got up and walked out of there. And so Christianity has an active component. It, we're not, there's not a gliding component. Christianity is not a slide and a happy little landing at the ending. Christianity means some, some pretty intense battles in really becoming a true man or a true woman of God, a spiritual person by the help of God. So this is a good thing, not a bad thing. And the Christians here are represented as being alert, battle ready, and they're not just... Uh, just indulging themselves on the way to the kingdom. Let's have that in mind as we walk our spiritual walk. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you today that you watch over us, you care for us, you have a plan for us, you actually have a place in your army for us. So Lord, help us to be awake, girded for battle, and watching for instructions from our commander, General Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. Lord, in, G in Jesus' name, we give thanks to you. Amen. So we are called to watchfulness, and this means some kind of activity as we're following Jesus. God be with you today on this wonderful day.